What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk brought to you by me, inspired by my man, Chili. It's an ominous day while I'm recording this Truck Talk for a uh, kind of an ominous message. You know, I've been telling you guys for quite some time, and I don't think anybody actually wants to believe it, but uh, when history looks back on the, the United States of America, the, this United States that we live in, a hundred years from now, when history tells the story, uh, it, will, it will tell us that the United States has fallen. It, it is fallen. The United States of America, as we know it, is fallen. It is stretched too thin. We we have uh, our federal government has engaged in conflicts across the face of the globe that don't necessarily pertain to us. We have uh, become completely corrupt and stretched too thin. And whether it's in the the conflict with the Ukraine and sending billions of dollars there or the Israel-Palestine, or the, the, the newest uh, conflict in the, the airstrikes that went down last night. Um, we are in the process right now, the very early stages, and we haven't woken up to it, and we don't realize it, but we are in the process right now of forging something completely new and different than what we know of as the United States. We saw just yesterday that the state of Texas has taken control of, I think it's called Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, Texas. The state have, has taken control of this ground and basically told the border patrol, the federal border patrol to kick rocks. Um, this is a huge part of the solution and this is a huge part of what it look what it's going to look like for us moving forward as a united states it's going to look like states taking back power taking back control of their own ground uh policing themselves uh cleaning up messes for themselves and telling the federal government to kick rocks it's going to look like states like the state I live in, like Georgia, uh, we need to come alongside Texas and supply them, allocate bodies uh, to help them, allocate money to help them, because it's in our interest that Texas uh, secures the border uh, between Mexico and the state of Texas. It's, it's in Georgia's best interest that that happens. So states are going to little by little, begin to take back power because we are understanding now that the federal government that has worked their way into manipulating every single state cannot do the job that needs to be done. They've become too large. They're stretched too thin. There are too many bu bureaucracies. There's too much corruption. It is fallen. It is fallen. And the only solution is for the states to freaking take control of the ground that they possess and do what needs to be done for the citizens of the state. This has all happened before. So this is going to continue to unfold over the course of the next probably few decades. Or, or it, it could it could unfold much quicker than that. But something is going to come out the other end of this situation that we're in right now that's going to be different than we've ever known. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good. See, when you are forging something new, when something is changing, one, it's a violent process, and two, the thing that is made can either be a piece of freaking trash or if the, the people who are doing the forging are good craftsmen, they can create something beautiful and useful. So this whole process is going to hinge upon the men 
who step up over the next few years into leadership positions within their states and lead the way forward. The outcome of this forging of a new thing is going to hinge upon the men who step up and lead within their states. That's what it's going to hinge upon. And it's going to be a ugly, hard process. So a lot of you guys may not freaking believe me. You may not think we're that far along. You, you may not accept the reality that is. But when history tells the story of these years that we've been living here in the United States, it's gonna, it's going to make note that this nation has already fallen and we are living under a facade. So I promise to do my best to step up and lead in my state as soon as possible. We'll see what that looks like. You better freaking wake up, man. This is no joke. I love you guys. If you got anything out of this episode, go get you a hat, get you a t-shirt. Keep my man Chili in the dungeon. And I appreciate the support that you guys give us here at 307 Project. We can't do anything. I can't do anything. I can't accomplish anything without your collective support. Enough said.